Hey there, it's Brutus Beefcake Infiltrator. Today, I'm going to revisit Far Cry 4 because man, it looks so much better now. Oh my God, I've been missing out, really. Oh, yes, I know. I got a new video card and I have to try it out now with everything. Well, here you go. This is really just taking my breath away, the landscape, the scenery. All that was just lost to me before. Here we do some uh, some grappling work here, coming up off the side of a mountain here. Now, right now I'm just replaying the game. So right now I'm running the first few missions and um, I've already garnered the bow, I've already garnered some weapons and some stuff from Uplay, which is making it a little bit easier to get around, by the way. I could be a purist and only use weapons that were available to me originally. But of course these grappling skills are, are not new either. And I go from one to the next, and up we go to the mountaintop. And the world is so immersive. All the animals look a lot better, a lot more realistic looking. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is I'm just creeping into a hostage situation. I'm gonna use the bow entirely for this episode. Just to creep in. This first, first one is relatively easy. Um, the first action is to scout out the area with the camera here. So we, we start looking around. Now the, the thing is that some of these guys might be around buildings and you can't see them right away. So you really have to do a fair amount of scouting just before you get everyone in your purview. Uh, you do get that little bit of a wall hack with the camera. So you know where they are. So it's kind of, it, it, it takes it away. You could, you could turn that feature off, I believe, or just ignore it and not, not actually do the, uh, the scout out first if you want a little bit more uh, quick action or at least see people directly. Uh, I'm gonna get overhead. I'm using the bow so I can hit quickly and silently. In fact, there's, there's a bow right there if you didn't have one. <laughs> they're, they're trying to tell you something. Now over here we just have uh, this one guy beating up on this poor person. I don't know if there's any real heroes in this, uh, <laughs> in this game. Uh, that's the other guy. I think there's one more, and if I just shimmy around, let me get over to the side here. As long as they don't see your head bopping along, you can run at a distance. They won't hear you. you get closer and you run, and they'll hear you. Okay, now let's look. Oh, and there's one more right there at the doorway. Okay, I don't see anything else. Everything else looks clear. Yeah, look at these guys. They're just bad. They need a little legend there. All right, so now we start creeping in. Now we start just moving in slowly, getting the best position. I think I'm going to start with this guy over here. I can get him just behind the shed. Nobody will see him. Yeah, i got to save at least two hostages and untie the extra. Okay, I threw a stone. Nobody saw anything. Excellent. He's coming to investigate, and I can just pinpoint and do a little Leolas here. Maybe hit him twice before he goes down. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, as long as you keep the kills hidden you uh, and silent, you basically don't uh, incur the, uh, the wrath of the guards. Let's see. Move along there. Move along, move along. Silently creeping along. Another good thing is that I can recoup my arrow if I revisit here as I search. So it makes the uh, makes the bow a very versatile uh, weapon because you can replenish yourself as you go along. You don't have to look for ammo all the time. I do have a, a submachine gun that comes in handy in tight places too, but I'm trying to do as much as I can with the bow. Clean kills on animals, silent kills on the guards. I've got the Herc. Uh, uh, downloadable content so uh, as soon as I meet him I'll get that harpoon gun I always wonder what those harpoons are for I had to pay five bucks for that on sale so this guy is gonna turn his back I'm gonna wait for that and oh sure enough he's going up the stairs this perfect spot and he'll be hidden from view all right creep up on him anything of interest in here Lovely textiles, <laughs> just lovely stuff. Oh yeah, every blade of grass in this game is, is just perfectly rendered, it's incredible. 
and I had searched people for a heroin. See, I guess they're paid in, in, in this dirty, dirty drugs. Oh no, stay in school, don't do the hard stuff. Oh, he f he saw some. Okay, he's actually oh he's distracted by the bees. That's perfect. So while he's sitting there swatting the bees that could kill him anyway, it was kind of stupid. Oh yeah. They gave you ample opportunity in this first bout to just come up and explore how to infiltrate a camp. Later ones are much harder. And also, I have this where they, they it's sort of on uh, and I'm a little hard normal. The guards will just see you if they see you. Alright, so now I'm gonna make my way up here. These two have no clue that I'm around. So instead of going out in the open where I can be shot like an idiot, <laughs> I'm going to actually creep around. Oh, he almost saw me. I creeped a little bit too much. I'm gonna take this. Oh, they didn't hear that apparently. And just go around this bend, use the foliage as cover. And the first guy goes down, right to the trees. And then around the wicker here, this guy's oblivious, because they were all silent. If you had a, like a silencer on a gun or a rifle, then it would be the same thing. And that's it. So that's it for this hostage thing. The I added it, since it's so short, I added another... Uh, Outpost thing that comes up right after that. It's one of your first tasks in this game. Look, and you're already torn between uh, the, the two uh, rival leaders. Look at the difference you've made. I know. One sounds really whiny, and the other one sounds really sneaky. So you trust who you like. Sometimes going between one or the other changes the gameplay. So that's also, that's also something you have to do. Uh, I don't really like the whole uh, horror aspect with the psychedelics. Uh, it's not my scene, so I probably won't go all the way through this game and go to the you know the, uh, the prison escape and all the other weird psychedelics because that, that's a whole other thing. It'll be fun for for once in a while, but it, it, I, in my opinion, it takes away from the game and is a bit tedious. But now, in the Far Cry 3, the psychedelics were more part of the game. They weren't a separate game. Them from what? He doesn't like losing his and you still had uh, real weapons like to it. choose from. There was a plan, oh, okay. Oh, and now uh, it's fell into some karma there. It will be a while before now I have to creep over. up behind... Uh, the enemy oh, in that this guy's gonna to get me if I'm not, not careful. I uh -uh. So I hid behind the tree, didn't see me. Nice shotgun, but I still want to get him with that. Let's see if I can get him from, where is he? This, right you there. Oh, oh, the seat. He almost saw me. Oh, there we go. So this, the karma is still up, up there, on, up the road. So let me get my arrow back. And uh, let's see, you're going to get goodies. Oh, I got another one. Jesus, these guys really like their stuff. Uh. <laughs> Stay in school. And way out here, boom! Yeah, I could have snuck up on him and did a takedown as well. And if you had the uh, the, uh, the charm for it, you would have taken a, his inventory as well. On that. All right, so now I go off to get to the next mission, which is the outpost. Oh, a taper! Down in one. Clean double skin. That's why I prefer this bow. Um, Right now, you can get a tiger with three to four shots. That means that you need to really keep a distance for the first shot, second shot. He's going to charge you as soon as you uh, strike him. So if you don't get three more shots out, two or three more shots, or a good headshot, uh, he's going to maul you. But with certain animals, one one and done, two maybe. Like the badger takes three. Hello, hello. Are you headshot headshots do matter for the uh, harder animals. And we're gonna do a little bit of trading here. Let's see. Let's sell off some of the stuff that I don't need. There we go. Get some money in my wallet. Leave all the skins until I need them and then sell those off. Or else you'll get the, the game actually say, hey, what's that smell? <laughs> oh boy. So I'm on my way. I'm gonna have to buy the bell tower. I have to get out to that outpost over here. Okay, move along, move along. Uh, there are quicker ways and longer ways. The longer way, obviously, is to walk. And the quicker way is to take a hang glider. Or a device, like a heli uh, jumper. 
And let me see, I'm coming up to, or take a vehicle. You can take the routes. If you take a vehicle, you'll meet other things on the road. Oh, there's a hang glider. Let's see, uh, look at that view, my God, every detail is perfect. And all the way down, okay, there is the, actually, taking a hang glider from here is kind of a, a waste. So there's an elephant, two guys right there. One dragging a body, oh God, really guys? One dragging a body, one tending to the elephant there. Oh uh, yeah. Now the safe bet is to sneak up Throw a rock, get everyone looking the other way, and break the uh, the elephant's uh, gate. But of course, being me, I don't believe in in logic and reason. I'm just gonna go in and there and see what I can do. Um, the cable is a fun ride, but it might take me too close. So I'm gonna see if I can just down grapple here. So down grapple, hit the release, which is a with the right click. C detach, but I'm at a. Let me see here. Where's the next grapple? Where's the next grapple? Where's the next? Okay, right there. So I grapple <laughs> that, and I take the next rung down. As long as the rope will take me. Sometimes if you clear a rock, you get a little farther distance. But the rope doesn't, is not forever. Uh, let me see. I'm not too far from the ground. Okay, let's see. Down, down, and detach. Come on. Let go. There you go. So Not a hard landing. Now I can sneak up. The cable takes you just off over the other ridge, which might actually be a better vantage point. I'll try that some other time. So right now, let's see if I can get on a forward. I'm get me a little bit of that green leaf. Okay, oh, liberating an outpost. As I walk over here. Now from this vantage point, there's another grapple down. You can do more an infiltration if you want to. And let's see, who else is around? Anybody else that I didn't see? Check the truck. Check the far side. I think there's somebody way out there. And you, you want to make sure you know where everyone is because that only takes one guy to set off the alarm if you don't uh, find your way to, to disable the alarm before anything. And you want to get that undetected extra for the little bonus. And there's one extra guy there. Okay. I don't see anybody down the corridor. I think I am complete. Okay, it has on fire. And fire, wow, it looks like fire. <laughs> it's not just an orange blob. All right, anywhere else? There's another cable. Where does this one go? This cable goes off just behind. Oh, okay. But I don't need the cable to get there. I could be seen, so it's better to just slowly shimmy down. You have a little bit of rock there. I don't see anybody else. Oh, there's one guy right there that I missed. Anybody else? Any okay, nobody's behind. There's another good vantage point right behind there to land. And just down this rock. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. <laughs> Although, in retrospect, I think this is a bad place. Because uh, I'm exposed on the right. So if I were smart, which I am not, apparently, I would take out those two guys. But let's see what I can do here. Now, your first instinct, okay, how about we have some meat? We can bring in an animal. Let's choose meat and throw meat and see what happens. Let's see. Choose meat. Okay, then throw meat. Where's meat? Come on, meat. <laughs> Where's the meat? Where's the beef? Oh, finally beef. Okay, so now let's see what happens here. Now the animals come in. They're dogs, I believe. And oh, these guys turned around. See now, now they're looking at me. Now they're looking. They find out that I'm there. But now they're dealing also with the animals. So I'm gonna take out this guy right there. Like I should have to begin with. And oh, I'm getting shot at. And reinforcements are coming. So oh, this guy right behind the barrels. He got turned around by the elephant and thrown. <laughs> but now the elephant's gonna take out the most of them. So I just gonna go and go ahead and just take out what I can here. And, oh, the elephant, again, is going to just run over this poor guy. I think it's because they're wearing red like idiots. That's the only difference. Elephant don't know. Oh, oh here's a reinforcement. Yeah, if you don't get him before the alarm rings. Now, oh, one in there. And he's going to stay in there? Thanks. It will be an easy target for me. Oh, I get chopped hard by a shotgun. I better get myself some health. 
first guy right in the throat. Ooh, hit me hard with that shotgun. Gotta be very careful with these raiders. And that's good. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this one. I did. Again. <laughs> I love this card. Oh my god, get one. Anyway, this is Brutus. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.